really relaxed and let me know if at any time you get uncomfortable I have you in this propped up position so that you can recline and relax but also see what I'm doing if you care to open your eyes as I'm going through each of your chakras and down your legs we're going to be doing a lot of grounding work through your legs so getting out a lot of the excess stuck energy in your body inviting it to go down your ground cord here in your first chakra but also down your legs so I just wanted to start by just introducing myself to you to your energy let's feel how it's going above your head Thoughts or old ideas. Just 
when we're not feeling balanced within ourselves, it's almost always because other people's energy and other people's ideas or even other people's spiritual information is in our bodies. And it's in your body because something within you agreed to hold it for them. And I say that because right now we are specifically calling out of your body any feelings, thoughts, information, even spiritual, spiritual energy that is trying to live in your body. responsible for them. 
so just making sure that your your second and third chakras here in your belly are really feeling the effects of this How are you feeling in your belly right now? <sighs> Just take some breaths as the energy moves through you, okay? Don't fear any of your energy moving, even if it might feel a little overwhelming or intense at first. Just let it breathe and flow through you. What makes the intensity worse is to try to stop it, to try to stop the flow, to resist. And you're not going to resist because all of this energy is just you. It's nothing to be afraid of. Even this stuff that you're releasing that's not you, that we talked about earlier, other people's energy, it's very superficial. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes very easily. Once you, once you just allow it to go. You're doing so great. in the 
way that you want to do it. You need to let go of some of your old ideas about yourself in particular, about how you can do certain things. Let that go. And really embrace the areas where you can be more responsible for yourself. Whether that means having a really good routine and maybe even some discipline. <laughs> I know who wants to be disciplined these days. <laughs> I sure don't. But doing the things that, that you know are healthy for you without needing so much help, so much input from any, anyone else. Because everyone else is also just making things up as they go. So don't rely so much on needing, needing so much feedback, needing so much approval. You are allowed to be autonomous. You must be autonomous if you want to be healthy. Of course you must still receive ask for support, but that's where this, this fun game of life comes into play, is always finding that balance between receiving support and also taking responsibility and giving support in a healthy way. As you are as your healer and friend, I don't want to see you continue this pattern of always needing to be picked up by somebody else, like you're not strong enough to do it for yourself, because you are, and I'll always be here to help support you, of course, but I want to support you like a mother bird. <laughs> Pushing our little scared baby out of the nest a little bit. <sighs> the mother bird never stops loving and supporting her baby. <laughs> Just like I would never stop loving and supporting you. But I want to see you take some bigger risks for yourself. You are ready. The reason you might keep falling into these patterns of anxiety or self-doubt or resentment is because you keep doing things that you know aren't going to work. So it's time. It's time to really make some sustainable changes. And I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You can do absolutely anything. <sighs> okay. Let's just go down your body one more time. <sighs> I see this, this citrine has been working well. <laughs> that you know that you can get to. 
everything I said, all the messages that came through from your higher self. 